to a mission story tonight only 92 out of 300 persons with disability applied for the three percent district assembly common fund for persons with disability in 2018 actually benefited from the fund in the following report Portia Gabo assesses the disbursement of the fund in the Pong Katamanso municipality of the greater Accra region Twenty-seven-year-old Mohamed Dramani is a natural talent. He uses his lips to make beats. He tells me he wants to become a sound engineer, but there's a challenge. Mohamed is physically challenged and had to overcome obstacles to even complete senior high school. He's unable to continue his education and gain employment due to his disability. Okay, sometimes you know you you write some of the CVs to I mean some companies because of the conditions. They will not know how to, I mean, even give you a position for you to occupy in there. So I asked him if he knew about the 3% District Assembly Common Fund for persons with disability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, they are helping the disabled ones to, I mean, to make life for themselves. You know? Yeah, I even went there to receive a forms from there. So, I mean, you can see this is a form that I took from the District Common Fund. And although he told me he picked the form last year, he has not been able to fill it. He's also unable to present the form at the offices at the Social Welfare Department in the Don Katamanso municipality due to financial challenges. Mohammed's story could, however, be different. The mission team was in the Thong Katamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region to assess the 3% common fund for persons with disability. The aim of the District Assembly Common Fund for Persons with Disability is to minimize poverty among all persons living with disability, particularly those outside the formal sector of employment, and also to ensure the enhancement of their image through labor. The beneficiaries have been assisted in the areas of education, health and business, with some benefiting as much as 5,000 cities. We look at various needs. We don't pay with school fees because that must be paid timely. Medical bills will be paid promptly. Then empowerment, that was when we select those who, because the money cannot go around, just a few, and then those who, uh, and we're not able to get, we put them on the waiting list so that when we get the next consignment, or the, the next chunk of money, we attend to them. Those who have benefited say their lives have been transformed. <laughs> Nuete Solomon is one of the beneficiaries. He got a knitting machine and has been able to make meaningful income through the 3% District Assembly Common Fund for persons with disability. <laughs> It's been very helpful. Previously, money was disbursed to some of us, but many people misused that fund. Tete Wontru is also a beneficiary. He now sells paint in the shop. The items uh, I got, if I, I bury it, uh, it's more than 4,000. So I do appreciate uh, what they've done for us. Uh, I got uh, emotion paint, acrylic uh, paint, but uh, here they don't buy, so I send it back and change the normal uh, normal paint. Uh, what uh, I want them to do for us is, any time we request for something, they have to involve with the uh, uh, dis disabled. If we wrote to them and then they don't understand what we want, uh, they should approach us. Madame Elizabeth Owusu through the fund now sells groceries and has a provision shop. Even though the District Assembly Common Fund for Persons with Disability has been helpful and aided most of us, I prefer the money because I have bills to pay. Eric Na is the chairman of the Ghana Society of the Physically Disabled in the Don Katamanso municipality. It really changed uh, our life. It, you know, um, initially the money has been given out, and you know when we go to when we go to monetary evaluation, uh, we met nothing. We have a challenge with the, with the phone. 
because if the phone is coming constantly, you know, uh, you know, I've um, been given this time, my brother or sister somewhere, you know that the next time it will be here or her turn, so they can wait. So we need the money to be, come regularly. Now we're having that three percent, uh, but if it can be, we have about five, uh, four or five. Uh, only we will start for more. <laughs> Seeing how persons with disability have benefited from the fund, the mission team assisted and invited Mohammed to the Forum of Persons Living with Disability to meet up with the director in charge of social welfare. Okay, Mohammed, I've received the application. You've indicated that you want to be trained as a sound engineer. Have you gone to see anybody who will train you as an engineer? I yeah, I went and see someone, but it seems the person has traveled outside the country. So how do we get the the amount you yes he gave me some of the things that i will buy myself we need the offer letter that indicates the amount that he's being charged i called one um training school they said they'll take that is three thousand okay so go and bring the offer letter because we have to work with that the money the fees will not be paid to you we have to pay to the school directly okay then i'll go to the school and get the forms and bring it Mohammed is a happy man now and grateful to the team. Hopefully, when he brings the admission letter from the school, he will be able to pursue his hopes of becoming a sound engineer. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Boon. Oh, Star Ghana was brought to you, I beg your pardon, mission was brought to you by Star Ghana with funding for, from...